Okay folks, um, short video here, I'm sorry about the darkness but I have to have it dark to show what I'm doing. Remember on the video, uh, John Bedini had a little neon and he was going on the on the caps of the batteries to show the radiant. Well, um, I've got a little neon out of a, a switch. I'm just holding it like this in the hand and I'm just earthing it myself and I'm just sitting on tiles in my lounge room. Now I've got this on the charge with my little tiny uh, charger which does AA batteries and 9 volt batteries, stuff like that. And it's, um, this battery was down at 8 volts, so it went up to 17, now it's coming back down, and then it'll go up again once it starts charging. Slippery tiles. Alright, so I'm just holding this like this in my hand, and I'll touch plastic. Touch plastic, you can see it in my hand just like this. Even better, I'll just, when I let it go, very faint. I don't know if you can see this in the quality of YouTube videos, but I'll hold it up really close. Okay, it's very faint there. But when I earth it with myself, in a second. Okay, I'll earth it with myself. No, it's a lot brighter. So I got on the on the terminal here. It's there. I got the cap. There, there, there. Even along here. Not out here, but over there. On the terminal. On this cap over here. Yeah. The wires come off. There we go. And I've just got that in my hand like that. So, at first I thought, wow, it must be the radiant. Then I, I switched the machine off as you can see me do. So that's turned off. Battery's dropping down because it's not charging. And it still does it. So that's weird. And then when I... <coughs> see this this um, charger goes through a, a 240 volt down to a 12 volt through a little power pack. And what I've noticed is when, even though the machine's turned off transistor's not on so no power can get to it. Um, it still does. Now in this setup, the negative terminal goes to the positive uh, on the primary input. So if I this is the positive here, I'll disconnect the negative. So this battery is not connected anymore. Nothing lights up. Okay. Nothing lights up unless I touch the negative again. So, it must be something coming through the transformer, is what my conclusion is. If someone else has any opinion, that'd be great. Because um, as much as I would love it to be pure radiant being picked up, I just can't ignore the fact that it's coming through a transformer still. Um, on the other hand, this is a neon bulb, and it does require um, a fairly decent voltage to light it. This one here is a little one out of a switch, but I have another one, which I did before, and it's a 90 volt neon, and it still lights up. So I'm, uh, there's definitely something going on, because that should only be putting out 20, um, 12 volts on this end of it. Input through the main wall, the power cord is 240, but it should only be putting out 12. See now it's connected again, even though it's not turned on, it's still lighting up. So that's what's got me confused. Okay, cheers.